Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be for uh, the next three months in love. What you can expect in the next three months when it comes to love, what you need to know, and who you might be dealing with. Uh, this reading will be for those of you that are single or already in a commitment. Um, it just depends on what comes out, what messages come out. As always, this is meant to be a general reading. So it will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So uh, take what resonates for you uh, and also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign. Sometimes those messages may resonate more for you. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. So you can check out those other videos. Okay. So let's jump in for Cancer. Ooh. For cancer, so angels, guides, what messages do you have for the sign of cancer regarding love in the next three months? What does cancer need to know, spirit, for the next three months regarding love? What can cancer expect? Okay, we have standing firm. What can cancer expect in the next three months? when it comes to love. Okay, answers. Bountiful harvest, I want to take another one, victory lap. Interesting. So if I see success, abundance here with bountiful harvest and victory lap, and also someone having courage, standing firm against any challenge or obstacle. So I feel like these are connected in a way where someone is focused on achieving a goal on being successful and it's almost like it's giving them more courage or helping them gain courage we'll see what this is about what guidance messages do you have for cancer regarding love what does Cancer need to know, Spirit, regarding love in the next three months? What can Cancer expect regarding love in the next three months? What can Cancer expect regarding love? Now, um, if you're interested in any of the decks that I use, Cancer, they're linked in the description box. Okay, so what can you expect? Eight of Cups, the Sun, what you need to know, Judgment, Three of Swords, and who you might be dealing with, the Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy, Knight of Wands, okay, overall energy is the Four of Swords, Reverse, so somebody waking up, the tower after that. Four of Swords Reverse is someone kind of like feeling restless, um, someone that takes action, someone that communicates. Be, you know, basically they were sleeping, reflecting, healing, and now they're ready to go. So we'll see what all of that is about. Spirit, can we get some clarity, please? For Cancer. Clarity guidance, please. This cancer. This cancer need to know. Let's start with the Four of Swords reverse. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? Wow, the tower again. This might be kind of surprising, shocking, something unexpected an unexpected message or an unexpected action. Okay, this could be some sort of reveal. Tell me about the Four of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about this? The hangman. Interesting. And then the chariot. There you are, Cancer. So what I'm getting here is almost like whatever this is, it's helping someone move or make a move move forward 
You know, the hangman and the chariot are complete opposites, pretty much. The hangman is stationary, right? They're not moving. They're hanging upside down. You know, they're just seeing things from a different angle, doing some uh, thinking. And the chariot is more about, I need to go towards success. I am on the road to success, on the path to success. You know, victory is mine. I'm <laughs> moving forward quickly with the chariot so it's interesting that th these are all connected tell me about the tower why is the tower here what's this tower about strength Leo energy Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Ace of Swords. So this could be some sort of message that clears things, clears things up. So I have the moon here at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. So this could be clarity, truth, uh, literally something. And I feel like it's going to be something... I don't know. It's almost like whatever this tower is about, it's going to help someone see something clearly because the moon is here and the moon is all about, you know, moonlight. So you can't really see things very clearly. Um, things because of the darkness, um, there things might um, appear a certain way that they're really not. So it could be an illusion or there's stuff hidden under the surface or in the shadows. So you don't see it clearly, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so when I have something here like the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords to me is almost like a light, you know, like, um, it's almost like the sun I'm thinking here because it's, it's bringing clarity where there isn't clarity, right? And I feel like someone's having like courage enough to do this with strength. And, you know, that's kind of what standing firm is about here. So this could be some sort of um, unexpected truth or message that clears things up, that illuminates, right? That brings clarity to a situation. Okay, so then that's probably why the sun is here. In the what you can expect in the next three months, we have the eight of cups and the sun. Eight of Cups is all about a departure, leaving something behind, walking towards something else. And then the sun, it could be that someone's walking towards their happiness, or it could be that, you know, whatever this clarity is about, it's helping someone leave a situation or, some, or it is guiding someone or, or it, it's, it's probably the reason why someone could be leaving a situation. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and the sun. Why is the Eight of Cups here with the Sun? The Five of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here with the Sun? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the Eight of Cups here with the Sun? Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone's looking at the past, having regrets, but is ready to move forward into a whole new opportunity, a whole new beginning. This might be difficult for them, Two of Swords. And then I have the Knight of Cups after that. So I'm getting someone whose emotions might keep them from making a, a clear decision or their emotions are what makes this decision difficult. Because I feel like someone's walking away here. I don't know if it's you, Cancer. I don't know if it's the person that you are dealing with. But I feel like someone's walking away towards something new. And there's regrets over the past and I feel there could even be an, an emotional attachment 
to whatever happened in the past. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Tell me about this Five of Cups. The High Priestess. I feel like someone's having some sort of, um, like a self-reflection or realizing something about the past that it's like almost like their intuition is nudging them to see the past in a certain way tell me about the five of cups tell me about the five of cups ten of wands yeah there could have been there could have been an attachment here to the past you know, whatever happened in the past could be difficult for someone to process or difficult for someone to be, you know, sometimes our emotions cloud our memories, color our mem memories, our, our memories, our, our, I'm sorry, our emotions can make our memories have like rose colored glasses. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, this is an opportunity for sure. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like someone's been waiting for this. Someone's been waiting for this Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles. But maybe they're just now realizing that they have to walk away from something to get it. Now what you need to know, we have here Judgment and the Three of Swords, which is basically everything I just said <laughs> judgment is almost like looking back at the past at your past decisions and having realizations about that you're having a personal awakening a growth period you are realizing you know how you've grown where you went wrong what lessons you need to you needed to learn and there's almost like a resurrection there's almost like a an awakening that leads to um, like the like the, taking you to the next level. After judgment is the world. And then I have the three of swords, pain, heartbreak, disappointment. I feel like someone's realizing something about a past pain or having some sort of awakening about a past pain. Tell me about judgment and the three of swords. And I feel like that's why the tower is here with the ace of swords. This is going to be a shocking truth or a shocking revelation to someone because it's like they're going to realize that they were wrong about something or that they were looking at a person or a situation the wrong way. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Tell me about judgment and the three of swords. Why is judgment here? with the three of swords yeah the three of swords again why is judgment here with the three of swords spirit what can you tell us about judgment and the three of swords two of wands what can you tell us about judgment and the three of swords Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone was holding on to this past attachment, past pain. And there's the moon at the bottom of the deck. This has all been kind of an illusion or there's something you weren't aware of. You or this other person. This is all going to be unfolding in the next three months. So this could be something that you don't know yet, Cancer. But I feel like this is going to be a wake-up call for someone this tower moment is going to be a wake-up call for someone that might be the title of this video because I feel like this tower is what's setting everything in motion and I don't know how this is going to go down so the ace of swords for example this could be some sort of news a conversation something that you might see written down somewhere on the internet perhaps um, it's information right 
So there could be something that you, you or someone else communicates or figures out or gets information up about something like that. And it causes a tower. And that does not surprise me because in what you need to know about your person, who you're dealing with, we have the Emperor Reverse and the Knight of Wands. Aries energy with the Emperor Reverse and the Knight of Wands. So I'm getting that this is someone who doesn't really think things through. The Emperor Reverse is someone who um, they tend to be powerless or they lose control of a situation. And when I have him next to something like the Knight of Wands, it's almost like their own actions get them in trouble. Their impulsiveness, um, this, you know, let's, let me have a good time. Um, I, I am attracted, motivated, I move quickly. I don't really think too much before I act. That's the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is just interested in just doing something. And I feel like this has caught this trait of wanting to kind of just jump on things, go after things, has caused them to lose control over a situation or has caused them to um, make a mistake, I feel. Because they're no longer emperor status. They've lost that status or right now they're not acting like this, you know, what they could be. Um, so let's see, tell me about the emperor reverse and the knight of wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the Emperor reversed with the Knight of Wands? The Emperor. <laughs> this is typically a masculine energy. They tend to be older. Tell me about the Emperor reverse and the Knight of Wands. Could be an Aries. Seven of Wands. Tell me about the... Okay, I'm getting stubborn. This person is stubborn. Uh, but I think that's getting them in trouble. Almost like a, this person is always on the defensive kind of energy I'm getting here. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse with the Knight of Wands. King of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about this King of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. What do we need to know about these energies? King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Five of Pentacles. Okay, tell me about this Seven of Wands because I have like a theory here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What do we need to know about the Seven of Wands? Page of Wands, Justice, Libra Energy, Temperance at the bottom of the deck. It's interesting. I'm, I'm getting someone that's like deflecting. It's almost like this person doesn't let the other, it is very guarded, very private perhaps, but I don't know why. I feel like this person is also someone who, um, I don't want to say this in a bad way, um, but it's like they have different faces. And it could be because they have different facets of their personality or it could be because they're so guarded that you get a different person depending on the situation. It's really weird what I'm picking up here, but this is what I'm picking up. Um, I feel like this is somebody who, I don't know, maybe they're not emotionally ready because I see them wanting to have fun. I see them wanting to not rock the boat you know, let's not, let's not get, let's not go there. <laughs> let's stay here in this fun zone kind of thing. Um, and then over here, I have the lovers, the knight of pentacles and the king of cups. So I almost get like, this is what this person could be, but they're very guarded, you know, maybe cancer, you are someone that has gotten farther than other people maybe you've act they've actually let you in to some extent but i'm getting that this person is very guarded and i don't know why 
typically when I see so much guarded energy with the something like the Emperor reverse and the Knight of Wands is because they don't want you to pry. They don't want you to find something out or they don't want you to get too close. Something like that. But I feel like this is this person tends to get themselves into trouble. You know, if this is someone that's trying to make a move but feels powerless, then they're probably not going about it in the best way. You know, because maybe also what I'm seeing here is this could have been the person that you have always known them to be. So for example, maybe in the past, you and this person were interacting or were in a connection and this person kept making mistakes or wasn't completely honest with you and now you've developed a guard against this person and so now when they try to come back in you can only see them like this that could also be um, a way to interpret this you can only see the person that you've always known you know so when they try to present themselves as someone else you don't really this is you you're like, I don't know if I can trust that. You know, it's very interesting energy. Hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. And um, I'll see you all in another video. Take care.